I am the light of the world, and in me there is no darkness. I am he who was from before the beginning of it all, the ever-existent one, the only one who is in all things, the one who created all things, and the one who is over all things. Who of you trembles at my words? I alone am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me, as I am the Father, and the Father is me. We are one in spirit and in truth, and mine will worship me this way. Even as most of the world has chosen darkness, I have overcome this darkness, and all who walk in obedience to me know the truth of my love, as I manifest in and through them. Nothing is happening outside of me and what I will allow. For those of you who walk with me in complete surrender to my will and who follow my commandments, I see the internal struggle you are experiencing in watching and waiting for my return for you. As my heart is in you and your heart is in mine, there is nothing you experience that I am not aware of or that I am not presently and directly ministering to, even when you perceive that I am not acting one way or another to change the outcome of what is happening now on the earth. I assure you, I am in complete control, and what you are seeing all around the earth must take place in order that all that is spoken of in my word is fulfilled. I will not delay in bringing it to pass for the rebellious around the earth. Believe and trust me that you are in the last season and in the final moments before all dramatically changes. I realize, too, that it is very difficult to rejoice and to be at peace when you and your loved ones suffer so much and on so many different levels. Your heart grieves with my heart as well for all the suffering currently taking place in so many everywhere, and the extreme suffering that has reached heights never seen before in the innocence of those made in my image. The spirits of hate and murder, rage, fear, and terror have covered the earth, coupled with the spirit of perversion that is now a stronghold in more and more nations, the complete downfall of all that is holy and of sound mind is almost complete. Darkness covers the earth and gross darkness over the people, but I will arise upon you and my glory will manifest for all to see. I have always taught you that my people perish for lack of knowledge of the truth and the great line separating those who seek truth earnestly and those who do not is very apparent now. The dark spirits at work have created division and discord all over the world as a means to keep as many as possible confused and distracted from what is really happening. I will give wisdom to those who seek her, but to those who do not seek righteousness and holiness above all else, to those who are wicked, I will turn them over to their earthly desires and reprobate minds. I will cut off their remembrance from the earth. I will not pity them, and I will deliver them into their enemies' hands. I will destroy the idols and remove the prophets and unclean spirits. It is in this way that all hearts are measured as to their motives. And you, my remnant, are separated and gathered to me first, as you who are in this group have been refined by fire and prepared ahead of time for the great last day's harvest. You are taught that Israel is to be your gauge as to the timing of my return. You who are the virgins with your oil lamps full at all times, what you are now witnessing testifies to the lateness of the hour and the seriousness of all I have spoken. 
Those walking intimately with me have received revelation concerning the real agendas that are being carried out, while the rest of the world takes sides as to who is right and who is wrong, who my people are and who those are who are of the enemy. Does it not state in my word that even the elect would be deceived? Every soul has the free will to make a choice in every moment, and I see the motive of every heart in every minute, or sorry, minute detail of that soul's life. I urge those of you who have not studied and prayed and listened to me about these things to choose very carefully and with great discernment all that you believe as truth as you watch events play out in every nation, but especially that concerning Israel. There is that which appears to be real and true, righteous and moral, but there is always a sinister and much darker and deceptive agenda being played out behind the scenes. True Israel, spiritual Israel, are my people. And the true spiritual Jerusalem is my city. You must know the difference between physical Israel and spiritual Israel. It is imperative. Not all is what it appears to be, my children. Satan has deceived many as to who and what I love and what I hate. I am the only one who can provide you with truth and correct discernment. So in order to come to this, you must receive your understanding and revelation directly from me concerning what is taking place. Pray in earnest about these matters, and I will reveal much. Pray for peace in all areas, and that all who are lost will find me through the suffering taking place. I assure you, I see it all. And I will bring justice to each and every soul who has transgressed my commandments and has made a covenant with Satan. The forced agendas of the powers that be, that control daily affairs as you know them, have brainwashed, indoctrinated, and deceived billions for so many, many years. This has reached a height never seen before in history. This is a turning point in history, and life as you know it to be, as the sixth day reaches its pinnacle before my kingdom prepares to be ushered in. The systems of man and all foundations not of me will shatter and crumble as I allow the forces of darkness to be used for great judgment upon the nations who have loved evil more than good. No matter what the event, situation, or circumstance that you witness or even experience, I am in control. Did I not tell you that I will act at the appointed time when the world most needs a Messiah? Evil must run its full course until the appointed next fulfillment of my word. Very, very soon you will understand as you, my remnant, will be on the other side of this veil, and full clarity and revelation will be yours. Continue to pray earnestly and as often as my Holy Spirit leads you, for those who are lost and those who are deeply suffering at this time. The world has never experienced what I am about to do. Love and be loved. Light the way in your small part of the earth with each and every one that you come into contact with every day. Be filled with my joy and my peace, not as the world offers, but as my true, deep, and abiding peace offers. Because even though your sorrow may last for a night, joy will come in the morning as my light arises on full display for all to see which is very, very soon to come. I am always with you. I will never leave you or forsake you. I have hedged you in on all sides, above and below, and you are my chosen ones. 
You are the vessels refined and finely tuned into instruments of righteousness for my glory. You are my ambassadors and the salt of the earth. You are and will continue to be on display for my glory. So shine, my precious jewels. Shine and allow the King of glory to arise mightily in your hearts, overflowing to all. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me, to give to every soul according to the work they have done. Yahushua, the light of the world. And that is the end of this message.